the SMP 500, which is the standard Sempor 500, which has the 500 largest companies in the US. So all of the companies in the S&P 500 are indexed based on weight. So some of the companies take over a larger percentage, and most of those companies are going to be in the tech sector, Apple being the number one. Another index is the NASDAQ 100. Now, the NASDAQ 100 is similar to the S&P 500. It, of course, it has less stocks in their index, but most of the stocks are highly focused on the technology sector. And even if you look at the top six companies in the NASDAQ 100, the top six companies take up 37% of the whole index. So some of those companies are going to be Google, Amazon, Apple, even Tesla. Another index that's widely popular is the Russell 2000. So the Russell 2000 is an index for approximately the 2000 biggest small cap companies that are out there. Now with those companies, of course, a lot of potential in the Russell 2000. If you want to invest in the Russell 2000, all you have to do is find an index that mirrors the Russell 2000. Or you could also do the research and make sure that some of the companies in the Russell 2000 have seen year-over-year -year growth past the average of what the Russell 2000 does on a yearly basis. And those are some of the companies that you want to pay attention to, make sure you look at their business model. Is it one that can grow into the future? Is it one that will need to change? Does it have stability? If that company is a small cap company right now, does it have the potential to become a mid cap company or even a large cap company? Make sure you also take a look at the management team, how they are performing on a day to day basis. These are some of the things that I would pay attention to. If I wanted to invest in a company, a small cap company, that's in the Russell 2000. But just in general, I would focus on an index fund that just mirrors the Russell 2000. Another one is the Wilshire 5000. This index contains all of the publicly traded companies from the US. So if you want to invest in all of the companies in the US, whether it be small cap, micro cap, large cap, mid cap, mega cap, the Wilshire 5000 is one that you need to pay attention to. That's not necessarily one of my favorite because I like to be a lot more detailed with specific companies that I want to invest in. But if you just want to have a basket of literally all the companies, the Wilshire 5000 is the one that you need to pay attention to. When the Wilshire 5000 was introduced, it had 5000 companies in the index. Currently, it has about 3300 to 3,500 companies, anywhere in between. And the last one is the penny stock market, the OTC market. Now, this is an interesting market because there are a lot of companies that kind of get on the more reputable stock exchanges. For example, the NASDAQ, because there are rules in order to get on these stock exchanges. Like some of the rules might be that a company that wants to get on the specific stock exchange, that company needs to be able to generate a specific amount of revenue year over year. A company also needs to be able to keep their stock price above one buck because if they fall below one dollar for over a period of time, let's say six months, they will get a notification that they're going to be potentially deplatformed from the stock exchange. But now the penny stock market is extremely risky because most of those companies don't even need to register their financials with the SEC. So a lot of risk involved in the penny stock market, plus the trading volume is not that liquid. So it's not as easy to buy and sell compared to some of the more popular stock exchanges. So be careful with the penny stock market, with the OTC market. I don't like to dabble in it, but there are a lot of investors that take a peek at the penny stock market.